your boy once again kqkc boxing network that's right i am throwing down on another video yes i have been working 32 days straight that's right i don't have no problem doing it because i like the current state of boxing I was on Ticket TV last night. I was on OG Boxing Sunday morning. I did a show Saturday morning. Monday through Friday, I do my normal show. So, let's talk about it. Earl Spence Jr. We all know the accident that he had back in October. Or was that November? But regardless, the main stream media don't want to see this young man come back and come back with a vengeance. But Earl Spence said that all that's doing is fueling the fire. Now, I have known many fighters. I have known many football players. I have known many people in general. It doesn't matter if you are a, 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 a banker. It doesn't matter if you are a brick layer or a candlestick maker. If someone doubts you, then sometimes that gives you fuel to put in the fire. And that makes you go from zero to 100. That makes you do your best. And we know, oh, we know that question they asked that Olympic team, the one that Earl Spence didn't medal. They asked him and everybody on that team, who do you think is the hardest working man on this Olympic team? And everybody, I mean everybody, said Earl Spence Jr. That's right. Now that his life flashed in front of him, oh, oh, all you did was light the fire. Now the mainstream media, they threw the match on the gasoline. That's all they did. Matter of fact, let me talk to you for a minute, all right? I got a minute. Do you got one? Okay, let's talk about it. Now, Earl Spence Jr., he realized, now, now, now he realized what, what, uh, why fans and members of the media have questioned how he will look in, in his fights when he come back, you know, off the uh, car accident. Well, Spence expected plenty of doubt based on the seriousness of the one car accident, okay? Now, that did happen in October. As I'm looking now, it happened October the 10th. And, of course, it was in Dallas, Texas. Now, the undefeated IBF and WBC welterweight champion doesn't consider any other criticism he has faced unfair. Yet, he has used persistent skepticism as motivation to train harder than he had ever prepared prior to a scary crash. You see, when your life flashed in front of your ass, it's time for you to get yourself together. Now, if you're one of them knuckleheads that your ass is stuck in neutral and you can't get out, then I'm sorry. Then your day would be your fault. Your dooms would be your fault. But when your life flashed in front of you and God gave you another chance, then you make the best of that chance. That's what Earl Spence is doing. It left cuts on his face. It left a damage 
to his mouth. And he got a DUI on top of that. Now, I'm about to quote an unmotherfucking quote. You know how I do it. Earl Smith Jr. said, Some people can be cruel. Like that motherfucker up in Detroit. Now, I'm not calling no names. Because you don't have no place on my platform. You got people that can be cruel and say all type of stuff. Huh? Was I wrong? Huh? But Spence told Premier PBC as part of a uh, like an Instagram live interview. But I don't feel like I've been unfairly criticized. Now listen at this. Listen at this please. Because when somebody get into a car accident like I got into and you know the car flipped you know many times and I got thrown out of the car and you know everything I've been through in that car accident and the stuff like that people are gonna have thoughts people gonna have thoughts people gonna have opinions on my situation and they want to see how I want to come back so that's just added motivation for myself and it fuels me hello talk to them EJ and it takes me to work way way harder and I actually do get on YouTube hello and see the tweets on Twitter and everything but what people have been saying about me because it added motivation for me. See, the mainstream media, they poured the gasoline on it, you see? Then they went and got a lighter, you know, or some matches, cause they old as hell, so they probably got matches. They flicked it and they threw it and it set it on fire, but they don't know. The kind of fire that they set was fire burning in his heart. The fire that fuels him. The fire that makes that motor runs. That's Earl Spence Jr. That's the same. That's the same Earl Spence Jr. that will work harder than he ever worked before. Not only he's going to work harder for his opponent, he's going to work hard for his naysayers. You see, that's what he does. That's who he is. That's why he was a standout amateur. That's why he was an Olympian. That's why he's a two-time motherfucking champion. Somebody talk to me. Huh? Now, as you look at him today, you say, ain't no wheelchair, ain't no damn crutches. Huh? Huh? Talk to me. Now, he goes on and say it makes me, you know, more focused and it gives me that added hunger that I had, you know, even before the Kell Brook fight, he said. So, you know, like I tell everybody, keep talking. Keep talking. I'm going to prove everybody wrong. You say that, EJ. Just like Jamel Charlo and Jamal. Keep running your mouth. Keep talking, Earl said. I will prove you wrong. And that's the one guy, the one fighter that you don't want to egg on. This is one fighter that his heart is damn near bigger than his body. This is one fighter that you do not want to piss off. Oh, this is one fighter that will leave the world to wait in disrail. This is one fighter that everybody won't be calling him out unless they are clout chasing. This is one fighter that knows, oh, knows what he have to do 
to win. See, this is one fighter that doesn't matter about 100%. He gives 110%. So I tell you, Earl Spence is 30 years old, but he's going on 21 years old. All it takes, my brother and sisters, is to be and have your life flash in front of you. Then that will wake you up. That will rise you up. Do you hear what KQ, KC is saying? Ah, well. So, right now, don't piss him off. Spence speculated that he could fight in September or October. Based on recent conversations with none other than the GOAT of promotions and advisors, Al Heyman. You see, the 2012 Olympian had hoped to return to the ring in July or August. That quick, yes, to this pandemic started, but that's okay. I guarantee you he's still in that gym. I guarantee you he will never blow up between weights ever, ever, ever again. I guarantee you he will give 110% in his life, in his boxing career, and in his children. I tell you that. Now, keep in mind, I am KQ, KC Boxing. First of all, if you enjoy this video, if you like this video, you can look at my cash out in the description or my PayPal. And with that, catch my show today, Monday through Friday at 12.30 p.m. Central Time. And if when you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon. You will get notified each and every time I do a live stream or a video. That's right. KQKC be working. KQKC be researching. KQKC be putting out videos and live streams. I'm not blowing my horn. I'm not tooting my motherfucking horn. I love boxing. You know my saying. Boxing was there for me. And I would be there for boxing. Never wavered. So with that. That's all I have for right now. So with that. I'm on to the next one. Shout out. To the almighty LDBC. Peace.